Jonathan, we've had news today that Activist Fund Value Act has taken out a position in the UK engineering company Smiths. Can you tell me about Value Act? Value Act is an activist fund based out in uh, San Francisco. Um, it's a bit different, it says, from the usual sort of breed of activist investor whose uh, modus operandi is to buy some shares, jump up and down, make a lot of noise, and then uh, as, soon as, as soon as they get their way to, to sell out at a big profit. Value Act tends to uh, prefer to invest in uh, what it perceives as undervalued companies and work with the management of those companies to, to unlock value and to achieve a better share price rating. And they took a position out last week in uh, Rolls-Royce, so they've been very active uh, in, over the last week in the UK stock market. The expectation is that for Rolls-Royce they will look at improving uh, the margins and sort of smoothing out some of the uh, up and down profit warnings that we've had. What are their plans to do with to Smith? Well, Smith's Group is uh, a very sort of old-fashioned industrial conglomerate. It's been around a long time. It traces its um, origins back more than 150 years. <clears throat> and it has five uh, divisions, uh, which in some ways are very unrelated. So, uh, for instance, one division makes uh, airport security products, another makes medical devices, uh, another makes seals and components used in the, primarily in the oil and gas industry. Uh, critics of the company say that there's precious little synergy um, between all of these divisions <coughs> and that, um, that value could be unlocked by perhaps selling uh, one of them, particularly the medical devices division, uh, to a company where it might form a more natural fit and it's a kind of a, a sum of the parts uh, sort of argument and it's widely expected that, um, that Value Act will, will help try and help them achieve that. Why haven't Smiths done that before if it's such an obvious change? Well, that's a good question. Um, the previous chief executive, or the outgoing chief executive of Smith's, uh, Philip Bowman, um, had something of a reputation as a deal maker. So when he came in in 2007, uh, it was expected that that is exactly what he would do. Um, the fact that he hasn't done it is in large measure down to the fact that the company has a substantial pension fund deficit. Any material disposal of an asset or a business would probably trigger a demand uh, for a cash infusion uh, to top up the pension fund. And the fact that that's become such a problem uh, is largely down to the sort of collapse in bond yields uh, since the start of quantitative easing. It's really tied his hands behind his back when it comes to mergers and acquisitions. So it may be that with the interest rate rises looming on the horizon, Value Act's investment might be timed very appropriately. Thanks very much, Jonathan.